It's the big game we've been waiting for and for these two teams a long time coming to reach the NCAA National Semifinal. Tonight, regional champions go head-to-head -head for a shot at the National Championship game. And an exciting game we should have for you tonight as both teams are very good. This is Mike Patrick here with my partner Jay Billis. For three, Holland makes the first basket of the game. Well, he didn't get a clean look there, but somehow got it to go in. The coach was not pleased when he was putting that one up, but he'll keep quiet because it went in. Ricks has the ball up top. With the jump shot. Trammell, baseline corner, no good. Close ball game in the first half, and that is a huge defensive rebound. Malone will get an assist on that one. Perfect dish right there. Good ball movement going to the inside, and then they kicked it back out for the conversion. That's outstanding. All ball on that play. The Danes score again, and that's eight unanswered points. The Illini are down by eight with the ball. Grabs the ball, what a play. The Great Danes have it and already on an 8 nothing run. Another basket, and they've really gotten off to a great start. This is exactly what they wanted coming out in this ballgame, Mike. Now they've got the other team trying to play catch-up. That's exactly where they wanted to be. With this amount of time on the clock, what do you want to do here, Jay? Well, Mike, I think this is a two-for-one situation. Let's see if their guards can recognize it and they can get a good shot in a hurry. Holland scores his eighth point of the half. He has been a scoring machine all night tonight. Ruffin passes it in. These clubs separated by 12. Here's the double team. Holland whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul of the game. Neal up top with the ball. Benson with the steal, and that's number two. The Danes get the bucket, and the streak continues with 14 unanswered. The Illinois Fighting Illini, 14 points behind and have the ball. Intercepted. Late in the first period and down, this is how you get back into a ball game, by making something happen defensively. Great steal. Wren on the money with a long three-pointer. Trammell with the buzzer beater, but he misses. We've reached halftime with the score, 17 to 0. Now that we've got a little break in the action, let's take a look at the first half highlights. Holland is the leading scorer at the half, doing pretty much anything he wants on the court up until this point. I'm sure his team hopes he can continue with a hot hand in the second half. Let's take a look at ESPN's top performers of the half. Malone will come off the floor. Trammell throws it in. The Illinois Fighting Illini are getting clobbered tonight, Jay. They've been behind this whole game, and as we start the second half, they need to do something and do it fast. What's going on when you look back at their performance over that poor first half? Mike, this is danger time for this team. The first five minutes of the second half will show exactly what they're made of. They really need to do a better job offensively. They didn't shoot the ball in the first half, and that put way too much pressure on their defense to get stop after stop. And after a while, that just starts to wear you down. Game clock with 123. You've got a shooter there who's not likely to hit that shot. If you're on defense, that is the kind of shot you want to force him to take. Excellent play. There's another good basket for them, Jay. These kids had the advantage at the half. It's carried over to the second half. Now they're threatening to break it open. And this is danger time when you're on the road. When the home team is playing well, the crowd gets into it. This team is clicking on all cylinders right now. Assuming they don't have a big collapse, they should be able to run away with this one. The Albany Great Danes bring the ball up way out on top. A 21-point lead in effect. Boykin hits from the line. The Illinois Fighting Illini decide to call a timeout. Trammell 
with the inbound pass. Time is winding down, and unless you believe in miracles, this one's just about over. No, I agree. With less than a minute to go in the huge deficit, they'll just play this one out. This is where the coach tries to use the game situation to try to teach his team something for a future ball game. I wasn't expecting him to take that shot, but he got it to go. The scoreboard showing a difference of 26 points. Kofi with it out top. Double T manages to pass out of it. The ball passed in deep. Bodie gets the short rebound. The Great Danes have the ball. They've scored 11 of the last 13 points. Oh, talk about contact, Mike. He got some on this play, but it didn't phase him one bit. And he really did a nice job. He drew the contact. Boy, he... The Fighting Illini are limping along here on offense, down 28. Kofi unloads. Kofi misses, and the run continues. Bodie can't get the buzzer beater to drop. That will do it for us. Your final score for tonight's game, 30 to 2. Check out the plays of the game. The Danes made a statement in tonight's game, winning handily against an overmatched opponent. These two really had it their way and deserve tonight's Burger King player of the game for their respective teams. That's it for this national semifinal. The final four now down to the best two teams in the nation. And now we're on to the NCAA championship game. For Jay Billis and our entire crew, Mike Patrick, we'll see you soon at the NCAA finals.